guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So this is the second video in my new mini series, which is all about high-end and drugstore bright lip colors. Today I am doing high-end coral. I've already done high-end pink. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it right here. So this is my high-end pink video. But this one's all about high-end corally orange colors. Now sometimes these can be a little bit hard to pull off. I do have a video completely based on how to rock an orange lipstick. I will link that one down below. I really feel like coral slash orange is a really wearable color as long as you feel comfortable in it. So let's start with the one I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. So this is Max Ravishing. It is a beautiful peachy coral color. It's a really pretty peachy coral color. I think this is probably one of the most wearable orange shades that I own. I just think this looks good on a majority of skin tones, especially if you're a fairer skin tone like me and you're concerned about wearing orange tone lipsticks, this one's really nice. So the next color that I'm wearing on my lips is Max Ablaze. Now I don't know if this one's limited edition or not. I know it was, and I think it came back out, and now I don't know if they have it or not. If they don't, I'm really sorry. But it is one of my favorite deeper orange coral colors. You can see compared to Ravishing, it's definitely less peach, definitely more coral. It has almost a matte finish on it, which I really, really like. This is Max Ablaze, and this is Ravishing, so you can see the difference. Definitely more coral, and this is a little bit more peachy. So the next is the Tarte Aqua Lilies for Tarte lipstick in the color Timeless. Now this I know they don't have anymore, but they do have another orange toned one. I forget what it's called, and I don't have it in front of me, but they do have another orange toned one. But this one's just more coral. So the packaging of this one is super cute, and then this is the actual lipstick. This is a definite matte lipstick. It dries to a very matte finish. It feels drying when you purse your lips together, but it doesn't feel drying when you take it off, which is nice. It's a gorgeous coral color. This is one of my favorites to wear in the summer. I just think it looks so good on so many different skin tones. It's kind of like, a little bit like Max Ablaze. I'll swatch them side by side so you can kind of get an idea. Max Ablaze is a little bit more orange, and um, Tarte Aqua Lilies Timeless is a little bit more pink. So that's a blaze, and that's timeless. Next is my Guerlain lipstick in color number 142. This one is definitely more pure orange than some of the other ones I'm going to show you guys. This is what it looks like. This one is an orange with a gold shimmer to it. It's really pretty, but it does take a certain type of skin tone to wear this. I generally never wear this when I'm this pale. I will wear this more in the later summer when I have more of a deeper tan. Not super deep, you guys know I'm always kind of a Casper. But I wear this in the summer when my skin is just a little bit darker. I find that it shows off it a little bit better. This also gives your teeth a very yellowing effect. But I really love this color. I think it's something different, and so I wanted to show it to you guys. As you can see in the swatch, it's almost kind of an apricot color, at least that's how it comes across to me, and it has quite a, a shimmer to it. The next one I have is from Tarte, and it's called Watermelon. That's the packaging, and this is one of the new butter lipsticks. This is what it looks like. This one is definitely a little bit more pinky, but it's still coral. It's like a pinky coral. It's also a little bit more sheer than some of the other ones I've shown you. But with your natural pigment of your lips, it looks stunning. This one does have a definite minty kind of smell coming off of it. And I just find that it gives a really nice hydration to the lips, so it's one of my favorite to wear. The next two I have are both from Lancome. I love the Lancome bullet packaging. You guys know this is the Lancome Rouge and Love lipsticks. The first one is 340B, and the second one is 351B. I'll swatch them side by side so you guys can see a difference. There isn't much. I would say that 351 is a little bit more pink, and 340B is the true coral. So this is 340B that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This one's definitely the more true coral color. I find that 351 is just a little bit more pink, but it still is coral. So that is 340B and that's 351B. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply 351 to my lips. So that is 351 on my lips. Like I said, it's just got a little bit more of a hint of a pink. It's still really pretty, very variable. It's more of a pink coral. So if you don't like the orangey corals, I would go with 351 in the Lancome. And if you like the orangey corals, I would go with a 340. So the next one you'll have to forgive my horrible application of. I hate the way these lipsticks apply. I talk about it all the time. They're really, really big. Unless I use a lip brush, I can't really get precise lineage with these. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that today. But this is Valentina from the Stila line. That's what it looks like. 
I do love the packaging of these. I love how like the name seal is in a different color on each one. I just wish they had made this tip a little bit smaller. This is a bright tangerine color. It's so pretty. I love it. This is what it looks like on my hand. This is definitely a color that not everybody wants to pull off or can pull off. It's definitely bright and vibrant and it's definitely like an orange toned coral. The Stila ones also have a very minty scent, but again, they feel very hydrating on the lips. So the next one is a mineralized, uh, a mineralized rich lipstick from MAC. This is at, uh, called Lady at Play. I have it on my lips right now. This is definitely more of a true coral color. It's really pretty. That's the hand swatch. I really love this one. It's beautiful in the summer because it has a nice glossy finish, but it feels really rich on your lips. And the last corally tone lipstick I'm going to talk about is a brand new one from Too Faced. This is in the color Bon Bon. So I'm not going to talk too much about the formulation of these because you guys know I love the Too Faced La Creme line. I think it's amazing. It's super hydrating. This color is so beautiful. It is just a beautiful pure coral color. It just launched along with Jelly Bean. I think Too Faced hit the nail right on the head with this one. It is one of my favorite and most wearable coral colors. If you are kind of newer to corals or you're not sure which one will match your skin tone, I would suggest Bon Bon. I think it's great for medium all the way to dark, or for light all the way to dark skin tones. Just because of the way it applies, it can be very sheer or you can really build it up. It is my current favorite lip color. So I forgot to film the outro for this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and film it now. I don't have an orange lipstick on though. Don't, uh, get your bug, you wanna say bye? So we went off and played for a bit, and so I realized I forgot to film an outro for that video. He's going to show you guys the preview for the next video. I'm going to be filming a, um, a review on this new product. Hopefully he doesn't show you guys the front so you won't know which one it is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. He takes his hat off, too. That's very cute.